Hey, welcome back. Something that I really enjoy doing uh, at you know whenever I have any free time is practicing marksmanship. I'm shooting something every day if it's nothing but a slingshot, a 22, a pellet rifle. Um, I have neighbors that are somewhat close and they've both informed me that they do not like me shooting large caliber rifles and such. So I try to honor that and uh, shoot something quieter. So what I'm going to show you today is something that's it's very fun, it's very inexpensive. Uh, I would recommend it for a child that's just beginning to learn the fundamentals of how to use a firearm, a true firearm, and for women as well that just want to learn the basics of marksmanship. And that is, this is the 1322 model Crossman. Uh, it's a pistol with a buttstock attachment. And you can pick these up, I believe, for around 80, 85 bucks. It's been a couple of years since I bought it. But this is the 22 model, and I'll include pictures of that. And today we're going to be sh uh, shooting the Crossman Premier uh, 22 caliber pellets, 14.3 grain you can pick these up uh, 500 of them in Walmart is going to cost you approximately six to eight bucks depending on where you're at so I'm going to sit back here um, just about 20 yards and I just for kicks and giggles did a laser range finder and uh, we're going to see how tight that these groups can get at 20 yards. Now, this shoots this projectile, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to do my research. And I think around 720 to 760. I do have a chronograph, but I'm not going to set it up today. And I'll just give you the information off the website. So let's uh, get the camera set up and let's see how accurate can we be with it. Okay. You see uh, one previous group that I've done prior and the two flyers that you see about the one o'clock position is using, it was a couple of different pellets that I'd had. They were actually a heavier grain, but they were pointed instead of these domed hollow points. So they were gonna be shooting at the top right. So you'll hear me pumping this thing up. It is a pump and we're gonna use 10 pumps. All right, that is certainly minute of squirrel at 20 yards. Hey, it's me again. And while I'm waiting for the last video to upload, I thought I'd go ahead and do some numbers. I went ahead and went on, got on the computer. And just the pistol alone is $49 and some change at Walmart. Now, if you want the shoulder stock like I have, it's currently $82.07, which does include free shipping. And that gives you the pistol, the shoulder stock, shooting glasses, and ammo carrier, which I do use and I do enjoy it, and a box of 100 or a 10 of 175 pellets. So if you go ahead and combine another 10 of 500 pellets, it'll add on another $5.82. So you're uh, basically looking at, uh, quick math, $87.89. So 
$87.89 on Amazon for 675 pellets, the gun with shoulder stock. One thing that I like about the shoulder stock is it gives me a lot of extra stability in placing my shots. And um, it says that it's 500 feet per second. So uh, at 500 feet per second, and like I said, I have not chrono or shot mine through a chronograph, if you don't know what a crony is. But at 500 feet per second, using a 14.3 grain bullet, that gives you uh, 7.94 foot pounds of energy. I went on to gatewaytoairguns.org when I just typed in a search for how much uh, FPE for foot pounds energy is needed to kill small game. There's a chart that I took a picture of, you know, using a camera to take picture of a screen just really don't work. But I thought I'd throw it in there and I'll put it right here. So you can see that for most of this stuff that you might want to dispatch around the house, this little pistol has just about double the amount of foot pounds of energy that you would need to do so humanely. Of course, that's a well-placed shot. It's not a shotgun. You're gonna to need to learn marksmanship. And that's the reason that I got this pistol anyway, was just to practice marksmanship, uh, trigger control, uh, breathing, so on and so forth. And uh, I really think that you'll enjoy it if you decide to purchase this item. So again, for something that's relatively inexpensive, for certainly less than $100, and plenty of ammunition. Another thing is when the ammunition uh, was flying off the shelves a couple years ago, um, you could certainly find pellets, BBs. Pellets do fly a little more true because they'll engage the rifling inside the barrel but they were still on the shelf. So if you had to go outside and dispatch uh, small raccoons, skunks, uh, possums, if they're getting in your chicken coop, they're quiet, they don't disturb the neighbors, and ammunition cost is about oh, 0 .0, 0 0.02 cents per bullet. It's very, very cheap. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you haven't done so already, then please be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Maybe I should do in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.